Hello everyone, Mike Adams here with the Audacity Bootcamp. Hey, in this video, I want to talk to you about one of the things that's new in Audacity version 3.0.0 that you need to know about, and that concerns the file structure and the file names that are used within Audacity. So let's get started. In this screen that I've got open before us, I have it split into two parts. On the left, I have Audacity version 3.0.0 open and running with a file open that I've called loudness and volume from a previous uh, thing that I was working on. And on the right side, I've got my Finder window open. Finder is the Windows or is the Mac uh, equivalent of your Windows Explorer. So if you're on Windows, you can open up your Windows Explorer to play around with the same thing. I've got there on my Finder window, I've got a folder called 3.0.0, which is a reference to Audacity. And in that, I've got a project there from Audacity 2.4.2 that I've created in order to illustrate something to you. Version 3.0.0 of Audacity will open Audacity projects from any previous version. And it won't do anything with it until you save it. But when you save it, it saves it off with a, with a different extension. Instead of a .aup like you see here, it saves it off with a .aup3. And once it saves it off as a .aup3, you can't open it on previous versions. But the good news is it doesn't do anything to your old file. Remember the old file structure that we see here where we've got the, the project name and then we've got a folder with all the data in it? Well, remember those had to stay together for one thing. If you put them, if you were moving them around and you got them separated in different spots on your hard drive, you could never open a project. Plus, they always had to match. The names had to match between the folder and the project name or it wouldn't open. It didn't know what to do with it. Well, now the difference is there is no folder. There is no data folder when you save your project in 3.0.0. But instead, it saves it into one file, which is uh, really going to conserve a lot of space on your hard drive. So like I mentioned a moment ago, that file I've got open in, a, in that left screen on version 3.0.0 is that .aup file that you see on the right screen. And again, it hasn't done anything with it until I save it. Now, when I, I'm going to highlight that left window, make sure it's active. And then I'm going to press con Command S on my Mac, Control S if you're on Windows. And I'm going to save this loudness and volume, same name, loudness and volume, but you're going to see what I do on the right side, it's going to write a whole new file with a .aup3 extension instead of .aup. So I'm going to hit Command S to save. And when I hit Command S to save, it double checks, it says, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm going to say, yeah, I really do want to do this. And so I'm going to save that file. And when I do, you'll see that immediately it's saved. Let me open this up a little bit more for you. It saved that same file, file name, with a .aup3. Now this file right below it here is a temporary file that Audacity uses while I'm editing. And on a Mac, it's a .wal. It'll have a different extension on it in Windows, but it's a temporary file that goes away when you close the project. Audacity uses it while you're doing editing. And then when you're done editing, it goes away. So, a couple things to remember. Number one, when you save your project in Audacity 3.0.0, it doesn't do anything to your older files. They're still there if you ever need to go back to them or to rescue something or to, you know, just recover something that maybe you messed up or something happened to it in version 3. Now, a couple things you need to know is that when you save your file off as a .aup3, remember that it doesn't do anything to those original files. The .aup file is still there, as is the data folder. It doesn't mess with those, it leaves them there. But you can go back manually and delete those off your hard drive if you need to clear up some real estate. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my Audacity window, and I'm going to close out this project by hitting this X here on my Mac, and closing out that particular project of loudness and volume. And when I do, you'll see that that temporary file over here on the right side disappears. And so it's gone. I've got a brand new .aup3 file sitting there, and I've still got my original files if I ever need to go back and grab them. So that's a quick look at the differences in Audacity 3.0.0 concerning file structure and file names. And I hope you found that beneficial. Happy podcasting.